Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a vertical strawberry tower. Let's get planting. I'm going to be making this from an old shelving unit. Now, if you can't get one of these second hand, people just throw these away all the time I found, but if you can't get one, they're literally only about 10 or 15 pounds off the internet for a frame like this and it comes with wooden shelves that you obviously can take out. Or you can build a frame like this yourself out of wood. Now, as you can see, this gives you almost a metre and a half surface area there on less than half a metre of floor space. So, lots of area for little garden. Now, once you've got your little tower, you're going to want to wrap it in some of this uh, weed membrane, which will hold all your soil in. Once you've got your membrane on, you're going to want to secure some wire around the outside like this. Now it can be any type of wire really, but I'd advise using chicken wire or this small mesh stuff. That way, make it slightly more secure when it's full of soil. And you'll get a little bit less bulging. Again, the thicker grade wire you use, the less bulging you'll get from this and the more of a square shape you'll end up with. So once you've got it all wired up and secure, it's time to position it where you want to grow your strawberries. Now I would highly advise having this south facing because obviously this is going to get most of the sun. You will get some in the morning, some on the evening, but yeah, mostly this is the side you want to plant up. So make this south facing. Now, once you've got it in position, dead easy from here, get yourself some compost together and start filling it up with a bucket like this. Just keep tipping it in. Fill her away. So there's several advantages to building these vertical beds. First one, you obviously get a lot more space for the actual ground area you're taking up. So in a little garden, or if you're only renting a small amount of land for your market garden, then these things are perfect to put around the very north side of your boundary or something like that. So you've got full south facing edge on them. Second thing is that make things a hell of a lot easier to water because obviously you can get 10 times the amount of plants in here and you only have to water the same surface area at the top. Obviously, it runs through all the way down to the bottom. And because it's also much deeper there, you get better retention of water because obviously it doesn't run straight the way through. Within an hour, you've got several hours worth of it, of time for it to run all the way through to the bottom here. Now, you can grow pretty much any plant in a vertical bed like this, but I prefer to use them for strawberries because obviously, once you've got them in, the strawberries dangle out make them much easier to pick, but you can do any type of plant like this. Onions do quite well, I've done onions in these before. Stuff basically which grows on the surface is what you're looking for. Obviously, if you're doing potatoes in these, you're never gonna be able to harvest them very easily without tipping out the whole thing. Again, big plants aren't gonna enjoy this because you're taking up a lot of space and they're also gonna grow tall. So yeah, little plants really, but you can't, like I say, you can do a lot of stuff. So once you've got it filled up, it's time to start putting your plants in. Now obviously you want to space these about eight inches or so apart and then just literally cut a hole in your wire. Cut a hole in your membrane. Get some sort of implement. I like to use a chisel for this, it makes it pretty easy. Make a little hole like that and then pop a little strawberry plant in your hole. So we've got all strawberry runners in now. Giant strawberries at the bottom, pine berries in the middle. Just the last few plants to arrive for the top here and this other one. But that's it. Strawberry tower done. You've seen how easy they are to make and plant up. Till next time.